guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. So for today's little video, I wanted to talk to you about a certain art project. And that art project was my Dapper Day outfit of Bing Bong. Now, if you don't know what Dapper Day is, it's basically a day that's set in Disneyland, Disney World, and Disneyland Paris. And there are set days that everyone shows up dressed as 1920s, 1930s, 1940s, 1950s, just Dapper Day outfits. Some people Disney bound and some people just dress up like they're from the 1950s. It's like traveling back in time and it's so much fun to dress up in these awesome Dapper outfits. Now for Bing Bong, it was the ultimate art project for me because I wanted to keep it like an art project and wanted to make it homemade. So as you can see, I got a pair of Capizio white ballet tights and I painted them with acrylic paint. I've never painted anything like tights before. And then I had my old Dapper Day shoes and I went ahead, I painted them from brown to white to orange and then sparkled the heck out of them. Now what's another interesting thing is that my skirt for Bing Bong was the right color and it was already a skirt but it was attached to another previous project that I had for school. I made a dress for some school projects so what I did is I went ahead and I just ripped the pink skirt off the bodice that I made for my project because I thought I'm never gonna wear this outfit again but I really want that skirt because it's Bing Bong's color so that made my life a little bit easier. Of course, I had my wonderful mother come and help me with this project because she's an amazing seamstress. And of course, what we did is we went to um, Joanne Fabrics and we got a nice, clear, sparkly fabric to go on top of the skirt. And you're gonna see why in a second why I wanted a clear, sparkle thing to go on top of my pink skirt. And I didn't want, I wanted it to be see-through, but I wanted it to be sparkly because I wanted to represent cotton candy because Bing Bong does sparkle because he's just like these sugar particles sparkling in the light. And this is why I wanted to have that mesh see-through sparkle fabric on top because I painted straight onto my skirt. I put a towel in between both sides of the fabric so it wouldn't like bleed through and I just used regular acrylic paint and I painted straight onto the fabric of for my tail. Now for Bing Bong's flower pin, I didn't want to do the rainbow one. I w instead, I wanted to do a galaxy one because I just thought, please, it's so fitting. Especially because I'm, you know, all the galaxy projects I do on my YouTube channel. So of course, I went ahead and I put together a galaxy flower and I just, it was just made of felt. I went to um, Michael's and got a couple of felt patches and what I did was I just got a bunch of glitter and everything and just made my flower. So that was making the flower was probably one of my favorite parts. Now for my hat, my hat was pretty easy because it just came as a brown bowler hat. It was a steampunk hat that I found on Amazon and I just went ahead and I painted the strap for a purple strap because that's Bing Bong's hat is a purple sparkly strap on my bowler hat. And of course, I ran into Joanne Fabrics and just found one of those like little cheerleader bows that you can go find like where all you can paint the like customize your own tote bags and stuff like that that you can paint on where all the tie dye is. And I saw these big obnoxious bows. So I thought, okay, well, there's a purple one. So I'm going to paint some pink polka dots on it. Since my outfit was now completely put together, I went ahead and start focusing on a couple of other little detail things. Now my wig, my pink wig is from artawigs.com. They're very nice, they're cheap, and they're really good wigs. I also got my other Dapper Day wig, um, the orange one when I was um, not rude but a ginger Dr. Dapper Day from last year's Dapper Day, and I've also gotten other wigs from there. Okay, so you put it all together and oh another thing is I did get my shirt and vest from Goodwill and I just wanted to say that I got a bunch of like swatch patches and everything from Joann's and I just sewed them all over my vest and just made like a pattern out of them and this is what it looks like all put together. Oh and my tool, I actually got that from like a dapper consignment store and of course I had my little bing bong zoom zoom in my little pocket of my vest. So yes, this is me putting it all together. So let's jump to Disney World and I got a couple clips from that. So we are currently waiting for the parade. Tori and Ellie, wait. Hi. 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 So my hat is There we go. Waiting for the parade, I'm so excited.
So if you're planning a trip to Disneyland or Disney World or Disneyland Paris, then make sure you plan that trip around Dapper Day because it is by far the best celebration day to actually go and dress up and have fun with Disney magic. Hey guys, thank you so much for stopping by Dramatic Parrot today. Make sure you click on that subscribe button. And hey, if you like this video today, make sure you hit that like button as well. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, all the fun stuff and like my Facebook page. And if you haven't seen it already, I have started a vloggity vlog vlog channel on Wonderland Girl. So make sure you go ahead and check that out and subscribe to that channel as well. Other than that, I will see y'all later. Bye!